Howdy. So let me ask you a question. You know, y'all are watching this, which basically says that you know something about social media. So we've got all these different websites. We have Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Google Plus, and we also have YouTube. And, you know, we go to these places and we have a little bit of fun, entertainment, some happiness. Maybe we get to talk to some friends or some people that we're just meeting for the first time. And life can be pretty good. And then you have the other side where you have all the hate and nastiness that comes out. Um, you know, some of y'all have been to some of the sites on YouTube where you got to deal with the trolls. Um, you'll be on Twitter and you will suddenly get these hateful messages that pop out of nowhere. Sometimes it, even, it doesn't have anything to do with anything that you've posted or that anyone else has posted. You, you know, this stuff just comes. So one of the things that I tend to do is I block a lot of stuff. You know, on Twitter, it, depending on what client you use, you can block certain words. You can easily block people. You can block bots. You can report them. You can block sites that irk the heck out of you. You can do that on Facebook. I use Firefox, and there is a plugin called FB Purity. And so I use that, and I block a lot of stuff that I just don't want to see. And you can do that. Uh, I don't know if you can actually do it on Google+. I know you can block users on Google+, and you can block users on uh, LinkedIn if, if, you know, if you really want to. So I had someone who was saying to me, well, wait a minute. Some of the stuff that you block, you know, as far as politics goes, you're blocking because these are people who differ, you know, in their opinion from what you do. Is that fair? You know, shouldn't you have to... Uh, evaluate what someone who you think you disagree with, evaluate what they have to say before you make your decision. And I didn't even hesitate. I said, no, <laughs> I don't have to do that. Why don't I have to do that? Because I can read. You know, they got this thing called reading where you actually look at the words and you make your, you know, decisions based on what you read. So I can go to CNN.com or I can go to NBC.com. I don't go to Fox Spews because Come on, really, that's not real news. But I can see all these things. I have Flipboard on my phone and on my Nook, so I can go to Flipboard and I can see the news. So I know what's going on. I know what people are saying. I don't need to listen to someone else's interpretation of what the news actually says and have them trying to convince me of something. You know what? I'm not trying to convince anybody of anything. If I happen to share a positive news story about President Obama, you know what? I am going to support President Obama. That's it. But I haven't put out anything, I don't think, maybe I have, I don't know, positive, you know, about Hillary Clinton. I haven't bashed uh, uh, Bernie Sanders. Uh, every once in a while, I, I do bash Cruz because I don't like him. <laughs> and I bash Trump. Everyone's bashing Trump. But I have decided to stop doing that, too, because it seems that the more you mention the name, the more it just keeps coming to you. And I don't want to bring that kind of negativity into my life. So, you know, it's that question, do you have to subject yourself to bad things on social media? You know what? I read these articles where there's a lot of people who say, oh, my God, it's just bothering me so much. All these people are saying these different things. Um, I got to get off social media because social media is ruining my life. And I'm thinking... Why would you let social media ruin your life? You know, you probably have friends, you have family, you have other people you want to talk to. There's a lot of great information that is on social media or on websites or on the Internet or whatever. And you can't hide from everything just because there's stuff that bothers you when there's something that you like. I mean, I spend a lot of time watching YouTube videos and there's stuff I don't watch. And it's not just stuff I disagree with. There's stuff that I agree with that it just gets overwhelming and you just don't want to keep hearing it over and over. I mean, how many times can they bash someone that you don't like and you just sit there and just keep listening to it? Um, it gets into your pores and you just can't get it out of there. So I'd rather go clean. You know what? I have not watched TV news in about three or four years now. <laughs> and, and I feel great. If I want to go see the news, then I'll just go on the, online and I will check some stuff and I get off. I do the same with the local news. I haven't watched any local news in a long time. And I know some of these people locally, so I probably should be watching just to give support. But you know what? I see them at events and I talk to them and they don't know I'm not watching. So there you go. So let me ask you this question. 
Do you think that people have a right to bring bad stuff to you with the intention that you have to see it? Or do you believe you have the right to say, you know what, I don't want all that garbage and all that negativity in my life. I want a little bit of peace. Give me your opinion down below. Unless you're a troll, in which case you're going to get blocked. <laughs> and we don't need that. So, anyhow, y'all let me know. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Even those people I don't like. I just hope they don't have a wonderful day at my expense. <laughs> That's just so wrong. Y'all take care.